ROTD still gets the credit. The language is more than a century old. It might need some spursing before it's told. It's not that old Dickens can't be understood, but we think some Romney might make him more good. We turn the plot down, a few words have a tweak. It might sound a little like Dr. Seuss speak, but listen. Come on. Is that really offbeat? A Seussified Dickens play. That could be sweet. Seuss was a genius, just like Dickens was. This style came to play a few more guffaws. Not that we're planning to do that. I'll say. This is a Dickens show all the way. We'll hold our breath and stick to the text closely. Narrators are faithful, at least they are mostly. After all that said, and after all of that yet, yeah, let's start the show. It's time to get cracking. Oh, 
there. Can't you see that I'm pretty? Those places serve no good Christian cheer. And that's why we're asking for donations here. We come here because of your abundance rejoices. And to seduce you with our bassy voices. So what small offering might be entice? I won't give a dime, but your voices are nice. I don't make merry when Christmas comes around. I won't call the slackers to go party down. Christmas in workhouses, those I supply. But many can't go there. And would rather die. And they can do Jews and spare a whole nation from the wicked and the surplus population. Brains my bells are close and fell around. The only answer that I can announce is that you, Jake, 
Marley, must still be alive. <laughs> what can I do to prove my past? How about I give you this book? The Scrooge gasped. Oh, I couldn't give me a book. The Scrooge choked. Uh, okay, I know you're now croaked. When I was alive, I shaded you. I pinched on my face and never get deep. But one single pressing and one single cough. There were all good ones who weren't what I was. When my death certificate got its own stamp, I was sent straight up to go to the camp. That's where they told me that I would be buried, closed and life, I would never be cut in. I mean, look at this kettle, feathers and bowls. I need enough flashlight socks for each toe. This elder cat collar, it's crazy what you can get for a ghost dog. I mean, check out the beanie bag chain for all the game. Beanie bag chains are all the rich. Especially the beanie bag chains for all the kids. I did the ghost How wretched, outrageous! In life, my grief on me is just a fantastic elephant. In death, it went on. You won't take it off yet? Do! And don't come off! And your big show, because the suit you're by, is worth by double. The hat you wear is three stories tall, but the brim will be tight. I'm making it small. Would it be heavy? Yes. What was it like? Four mile cons that go to the top. A weeping roller coaster that weaves in between them. Rocking Pink Tiger is just a cleanup. Your eyeglasses will be replaced with fish tanks. Each fish tank to jump over in. Oh, I see! That's the least of your worries. The whole suit is made out of loose as it doesn't. I can't wear that. I'm allergic to those. Everyone is! Look, look there's more to your outfit. Those special experts have found what is trendy. What is trendy are pants that are bendy. Ghost bendy pants are so bendy it's nutty. They'll turn both your legs with a special shape honey. You'll rock and then you'll roll and you'll stall with each step. Because you recall your head is tall. Stop! How can you sit there and tell me this? You made my heart sing all the way to my bellies. If I loosen my gown, I might fall the more. Your heart is made of ice. It might shatter the floor. Is that why you're thinking to interrupting my peace? To say what I bear not be when I'm deceased? Because of the things here on earth I transgress, I'm forced to act in that fashion excess? Right on. Oh, no pun intended. The things you hate most are the things you become. Now that's part one, dude. Here comes part two. Stop calling me dude. It's the least you can do. Scrooge. No, it's the Scrooge. My rock and roll name. I've had it since I was a teen in a band. <laughs> I think we're getting ahead of plan. I know full well the bear of your rock band affair. You're saying like a bird? Oh, okay. We'll deal with your past in this play, dude, and show you how you went from rock and roll to geezer. Now, like I said, this part two. Three other spirits are going to haunt you. You gotta get haunted three times in a row. What? Did I whisper? No, I heard you. I'm just not a good listener. Couldn't they all want me now when you're young? The ghost at a time might not be that much fun. One by one might take up too much time. Especially since this whole thing is done in a rhyme. Scrooge big pants can get up and take warning. The fresh is coming at one in the morning. One in the morning? <laughs> They're haunting me, Scrooge. You don't get an appointment. The next ghost will be here at the, at the next night at the same time. So you don't get up tight. The following night, the last ghost will be here, and hopefully by then we'll be seeing you clearly. Oh, look at the tire, Scout. I haven't seen you too long. I've got more people to haunt and freak out. Apparently they don't like it, they can try to toss them. That's how I'm in the escape when it goes possible. Well, 
It's anti-gravity spray. And it's strong. One shot of this stuff and you will be cuckoo dead. It's way better than that.
And Jerry. Oh, who do you pick that lady, right? Plus, she's an Aries. Man, yeah, but I know I have quite a range. Right hand on the mic on the left stroke to my main. That's how you do it. That's how you make the girl squeal. That's what you call rock and roll. Susan P. Not a Seuss play. It's by Charles Dickens. All right, he did it. The word Seuss was mentioned. But that was just a clever word play invention. This play is not Seussy. It's Dickensy mostly. And it's so Seussy because we propose it to a Seussy. We raise our glasses. So still the dog passes. And slurp with the masses. Please tell us the molasses. Old Dickens surpasses. Authors of all classes. They rise like gases. From compost to grasses. Right to the top of our list of good writers. Not the molasses. Let's go try to say Well, that's because we threw this to our rain for it. I know they're expensive, so I bet you can say. No great expense! Well, it's not such a feat to make these folks happy. They came off the street. Because your week was full of joyful charisma. There's plenty of examples of which I can quiz you. Just no task then? Not at all. He made a smile and bear all our debtors. Ooh! So we had great kindness. No one could match it. Ah, uh, look what the young you look doing. You're no longer singing. It looks like you're ruined. You're popping it out from what I can tell. Oh, oh you're sweet. Wouldn't that be my girl? You're like a great singer. I'm not even joking. You'll then meow, but I think it's smoking. Do you want to know what It's just for a letter. Actually, I thought this would be better. What? My body has 17 trillion and nine neurons up firing at the same time. <laughs> you're right. Naughty. It might have been less if I weren't such a haughty. <laughs> Perhaps we can have a love type reaction. It compels me to get down on one knee. Dear, so what's your name? Belle? Marry me? <gasps> I was engaged. Let's get forward, Scouch. You knew love is limited to make your life close. I need some more napping. 
Do your thing. 